again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Um, this video is a quick look round, a little budget knife. Um, I've been acquiring one or two budget friendly knives recently before the UK um, delivery, uh, doorstep delivery knife ban goes ahead, if it does at all. Um, and this time I've got myself this little folding knife here, a little liner lock, and it's the Javelin 6500. Only cheap little fella. I think this was four pounds ninety something around there, less than a fiver, um, from HeineHaines.com. Um, as you can see, it's still in the blister pack that it comes in. Nice anodized um, scales there handle. So just a quick run through the specs, just very quickly. A three inch blade length satin finish, anodized aluminium scale, a liner locking design. The dreaded 420 stainless steel liner and blade, I'm assuming. Stainless steel pocket clip, lanyard hole, and one hand open design, mm, allegedly. So, anyway, that's the javelin. I'm going to be opening the blister pack with this, which is the Horns Knight, um, and that is the model number is, well, the, the blade uh, material rather is 8CR14MOV, and that's the Horns Knight. So again, little liner lock. I've reviewed this before, so I'm doing this for a reason. So please check that video out. Little uh, drop point there. Nice little knife this, I do use it quite a bit. So it isn't out the box sharp. I've used and abused it. So, so let's get into this. So just open that blister pack up and take this little fella out. Have a quick look around this. So there we go, straight away. Out of the box feels light because of the aluminium scales I guess feels front heavy but a nice looking blade it is satin finish quick look around there two little uh, thumb pillars there uh, and underneath the liner lock with a bit of jimping on there and um, there's some jimping on the spine of the blade but to be honest I can hardly feel that over the frame it doesn't feel brilliant to be fair but you know, again, less than a fiver. Um, you can see the pillars which are held on through the scales by these little torque screws, which on closer inspection, if you look at them quite closely, I don't know if this will pick up on my poor camera, but the heads are quite chewed up and not in good order. So should you want to take it apart, mm, good luck with that. Um, Something I've noticed as well, the, the, the liners inside of the scales, um, obviously they're only very thin, one-sided, because obviously the side that has got the inner liner, the stainless liner, is split. Um, obviously that becomes the liner lock, but anyway, let's go ahead and try this. So, yeah, it's quite smooth, quite a nice smooth, um, you know, it's a nice positive lock, yeah. Even though I'm trying to get this in camera shot here, the actual um, I don't know what you call it, you know, the fit and finish where where the liner lock actually engages to the back of the blade, the machining, the manufacturer is quite rough there. I'd want to see that a bit more nicely finished there, because that's obviously the the bit that's most important when you're using this to stop it closing on your on your knuckles. So, but yeah, it feels nice. That handle, the scales are very grippy. Do quite like the blue checker in there, it's quite nice. Um, notice from the offset there's a small bit of damage on the bluing, just from packaging I guess, I've not done that. And um, it's very light. Little pocket clip there with the Javelin logo on it. So overall, nice little thing. So I've got myself a bit of pine wood here. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's surprisingly sharp. I didn't think this would be up to much to be honest for the price point but yeah you can get some real nice fine shavings from that yeah I don't know if it's picking up but yeah yeah it's pretty pretty good for saying it's a um, has this horrible which I don't like the secondary bevel Scandi sort of grind but down to a secondary bevel don't like that but you know for the price yeah it's um, pretty much yeah, it's taking the hairs off. It's nearly shaving sharp, let's say. Yeah, it do the job. 
dreaded paper test. Yep, that's not bad at all. Nearly there. <laughs> you know, we're talking less than a fiver. Yeah, it gets the job done. So, the reason I showed the horns in the first place versus this, as you can probably see, hopefully, they're both a very, very similar design. They're both like, you know, around a three inch drop point blade. Both got the secondary bevel, thumb pillar opening, both liner locks. But if you look at the horns, I don't know if it's again if it'll pick up, but the horns is a lot more heavy duty on the liner. It has both inner liners, whereas this one only has one side. The scales are a lot better finished on the horns. The blade and the overall weight, you know, the girth and everything just feels a lot more solidly made on the horns. Albeit, okay, the texture and the colour might not be to everybody's taste, fair enough, but that was just my uh, whim at the time. Um, the lanyard holes, they're, on, they're in comparison, they're similar. <clears throat> The horns construction, there's more of the pillars, more of the strengthening posts, the screws and fit and finish are generally better. You know, the heads you could still actually take to, part, uh, to pieces if you need to, they're still usable. They both feel nice in the hand, the horns is heavier, but um, the quality overall is better for this. And um, this was five pounds, just pence over a fiver. So basically for <laughs> 15 pence more, and this, this was from Gearbest, that was from Heine Haynes. They're in the same sort of price bracket. For me, I'd still choose the horns. It's more secure on the, you know, the, the actual opening and closing. Even though this is broken in nice now, you can really flick it if you need to. But the, the actual locking up, it, it goes further across the blade hilt, if that makes sense. And it's thicker. Whereas this little fella, it's a lot more spindly and doesn't go the full way across, you know, it's... I give it time, you know, it's a cheap knife, but um, like I say, I've used the hell out of the horns. <laughs> Made a hash of that. And again, because <laughs> the camera's rolling, it says. It does cut. <laughs> I'm just making a complete hash of this. Well, never mind. <laughs> it, it's good enough for an everyday user, let's put it that way. So, uh, do excuse me, it's hot here in the shed. Oh dear me, unusually enough over in the UK. So anyway, that's a quick look around this little fella. That's the Javelin from Heine Haynes. Not bad for the price. Very light, so it would make an ideal pocket carry if you're allowed to. Over in the UK, because it is liner lock, you know, and the blade is, it's around three inches, so I wouldn't risk it anyway, but the, the fact that it's locking makes it illegal carry over here in the UK. Absolutely ridiculous, but it is what it is. And um, but I thought it's a <clears throat> good enough little thing to chuck in your backpack as a backup reserve knife, basically. So, yeah, why not? Would recommend it for the money. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah.